Climate change and global warming, two terms you've probably heard a lot about lately. But climate change is affecting Rhode Island fishery and its business in a big way. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, the United States is 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it was a century ago. And the Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 99% of the world's oceans, dramatically changing fishery patterns in Rhode Island. Climate change is having a big impact on the water of Rhode Island. The main thing we notice is the warming that's occurring. Leaving the water not only warmer, but at a temperature that lobsters don't like. In a fisheries of the U.S. report by NOAA, it states lobsters rank among the most valuable fisheries in the country, generating over half a billion dollars in annual revenue. Lobster's a really good example of, of a, a northern species, a cold water species. Um, lobster really like temperatures around 60 degrees Fahrenheit which is actually cooler than the water is now. Not only bad for the species, but bad for business in the ocean state. University of Rhode Island oceanographer Professor Jeremy Colley says their team has been studying patterns for six decades, and they have realized the big business of lobsters is leaving the area. Basically, the, their thermal habitat is shifting north. The lobster abundance of Maine has increased a lot, and so lobsters enjoy boom years of lobster catches. But even in Maine, we see that the, the distribution of lobsters is shifting. But fisherman Rich Fuca says, although there are definite changes... I speak to a lot of fishermen. They um, are constantly um, giving me sort of uh, climate updates, if you will. There's, there's definitely something changing as far as temperature goes. It's not all bad for business, just different. When I speak to the positive effects, um, Rhode Island leads the nation, if not the world, on its landings for squid. And that's why Rhode Island has a, a, an appetizer called calamari, um, because we are the largest producers on the eastern seaboard of, of elex and lalago squid. Those, those fish are, uh, are greatly affected by water temperature in a good way because it's, it gives them the chance to reproduce a lot more often biologists are finding through collaborative research. The warm water has been good for southern species to make a home. Also, fishermen in Rhode Island are, are changing the species that they catch. So instead of catching cold water species like cod and flounder, now they're focusing on squid, scup, um, and other more southern species. So they've had to adapt their businesses to keep up with climate change. I think we have a lot more cod and haddock that have moved down into southern New England. Um, we've had a, a decrease in lobsters. Not only having to adjust to different catch, but unpredictable weather. It probably um, has been ongoing for probably the last 10 years. Um, slow increments of, of temperature changes. You're seeing uh, uh, climate changes as far as weather patterns, um, more severe weather patterns. I know the fishermen are affected by that in the wintertime. Uh, stronger, stronger storms means higher waves. It, it has big impacts on, first of all, the fisheries because the, the commercial fishermen and recreational who um, catch these species and depend on them are really having to change their businesses. Lobstering in Narragansett Bay has really declined because it's basically too warm. Lobsters are moving offshore. Lobstermen who, who have lobster businesses are also following the lobsters offshore. Now, URI says that even by mid-century, other waters in New England will be too warm for lobster and they'll be heading toward Nova Scotia. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.